They were the softest of targets. 132 children among the 141 killed. My dad died when I was 13 months in 2005. It really makes me sad when I think of him. My kids are crying and my wife is crying and I can barely hear their voices with explosion in the background. And, and last night my daughter told me, Dad, tell me I'm not gonna die. Six years old girl asked her father to not die. War affects everyone that it comes in contact with, including children. They are forced to grow up around violence, which takes away their childhoods and often loved ones. This issue has been around since the dawn of time, and it has been highlighted in William Golding's Lord of the Flies. Let's take a closer look. What is known about the psychological and social effects of war on children? Children are affected by war in many ways, such as their surroundings, loved ones that are enlisted, or being child soldiers themselves. Studies have shown that symptoms of depression, post-traumatic stress disorder, and anxiety were found in teenagers involved with the war in Afghanistan. With the newfound psychological damage, many children cannot go back home to their families and communities because they have been ostracized, killed family members, or have had children of their own and are not accepted. Forced to act as adults, child soldiers often commit cruelties and atrocities of the worst kind. Exposure to chronic and traumatic stress during development leaves the children with severe personality changes, along with other issues which will affect them for the rest of their lives. How do the boys in Lord of the Flies reflect typical symptoms of children of war? The plane crash that the boys experience, which leaves them stranded on the island, occurs during World War II. Ralph, taking on the responsibility of chief, relates to when children are forced to take on responsibilities due to parents enlisting or other circumstances. They may miss developmental opportunities, such as school and their childhood activities. An estimated 50% of children in active duty families are younger than age 7, much like the young boys in Lord of the Flies. When the boys first arrive on the island, they see it as an opportunity to have freedom from adults and the issues of war. However, because they have grown up during the war, they are accustomed to violence and see it as a common aspect of life. Jack and the other boys' personalities changed because of the harsh situation they were in, just as the children of war often experience severe personality changes. When adolescents return from war, they are often banished from their homes and not allowed to return. If they are able to return home, they face psychological issues that make it harder to revert back to a normal life. The boys on the island faced a similar dilemma when the military officer came to rescue them. They became very emotional and broke down crying because they realized they would have to deal with the events that occurred on the island for the rest of their lives. How has the issue of war children been translated into our literature? In addition to Lord of the Flies, there have been many sources of literature that focus on issues related to the children of war. For example, the Chronicles of Narnia, whose main characters are children, is set during World War II in England. The characters are refugees of the bombings of London. C.S. Lewis, the author of the Chronicles of Narnia, became inspired to write about the war after he experienced caring for refugee children himself and had the opportunity to shield and love at least a few of those children suffering. The diary of Anne Frank is solely based on a young girl and the effects the war had on her life. In the book, Anne wrote that she feels as though she has grown up a lot since this war began, just as children whose families are involved in war take responsibility for their younger siblings, forcing them to mature beyond their years. This book had a great effect on those who read it, giving them a first-person view of the largest group of people really suffering during times of war, children. What can be done to help children of war? Currently, there are many charities and organizations that help and support children during harsh war times, including War Child, The Children of War, Global Child, and UNICEF. These organizations put kids back in school, prevent children from being recruited as soldiers, and give them tools to improve their entire life. Another problem being confronted is the age of recruitment in many countries' armed forces. 
A goal of Child Soldiers International is to stop all recruitment under the age of 18. Many child soldiers are recruited into militias and rebel groups, but some countries recruit children into their militaries, including England, whose age requirement is 16. In 2002, the optional protocol to the Convention of the Rights of the Child passed two laws that made the age for enlistment of children, whether it be compulsory or voluntary, be at least 18. Any soldier under this age is considered a victim of war crime. Although these laws create hope for child soldiers, the issue is still intact because of a lack of reporters due to unknown locations of the crime. Sadly, that is what stops us from getting these children help. The mass media's narrative doesn't seem to care much about these children, which is a shame because in 2012, we learned how passionate people could be when the indescribable lives of child soldiers were shown. Coney 2012 showed us how kind and compassionate we are, how ready we are to assemble and collaborate when a big issue like the suffering of children is brought to light. Unfortunately, as things went wrong with the organization, the issue seemed to disappear. Years later and more children are struggling than ever. What can be done to help these children of war? Get celebrities, get major news channels, get anyone with a mass following or a mass audience to start speaking about these things that we're silent about, to start bringing these important issues to light again, to constantly remind us that as we live our safe lives, these horrors are happening. I have hope that we as Americans, as good people with seemingly endless resources can once again collaborate for a world where having a happy and safe childhood isn't based on what part of the world you're born into. Thank you.